Load complete. Tonight, the SML presented by APM Music kicks off its 10th season on the front page of Twitch. The matchup, only one of the most exciting on paper in recent memory. The four-time champion Queen City Corsairs leave the cold for Mexico to take on the defending champion Mexico City Aztecs and the two franchises' first ever meeting. See those people over there in the chat? Some of them are on the field tonight, and many will be there all season long. Buckle up for eSports Entertainment, unlike any other. It's the Simulation Football League, and it starts right now. Welcome to Estadio Azteca in Mexico City, Mexico, for the Season 10 kickoff game between the Queen City Corsairs and the Mexico City Aztecs. Good evening, I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Kevin Irvine, and welcome to Season 10. If you're watching us for the first time on the front page of Twitch, hello and welcome to the Simulation Football League presented by APM Music. On the field for the coin toss now, captains A.J. Caswell for Queen City, Matt Wilson for Mexico City. Mexico City wins the toss, they will kick. And that means Cole Varner will kick us away. Tonight is opening night of season 10. We're happy to have you here all along for the ride. Cole Varner, kick it! We're underway. From the three-yard line, Queen City on a return past the 15 and rumbling down to the 23-yard line is where Queen City will start with the football. And we're underway in season 10. The quarterback for Queen City is A.J. Caswell, 6,825 passing yards and 53 touchdowns in his illustrious career. And Queen City starts with two receivers, three receivers, and two in the backfield. The handoff goes to Ash Odom up the middle, who picks up seven yards. Second down and three, 10.43 to go in the first quarter. Happy to have you along, Queen City in the black helmets. White jerseys and the black pants. Mexico City in the all blacks, white numbers, red and green trim. Here on the Asheville Network on the front page of Twitch. Again, three receivers and split backs in the backfield with four down linemen for Mexico City. Caswell will throw. Caswell deep drop back, gets away just in time down the sideline, caught by Memphis Blue to the 42 yard line. That'll pick up a Queen City first down in the first move of the chains of the regular season for either team. We'll get to the starting lineups in just a minute. Queen City moving the ball here so far on their opening drive at the 42-yard line, a 4-2 look. Devon Simeon was supposed to be along with me tonight in his analyst role, but he was suffering from a nasty cold. He decided to hold out. That pass is caught and tiptoeing down the sideline for a first down was Joe Simpson who returned the kickoff. Nicely done by Joe. Let's meet the full Queen City offense. Queen City star offense includes A.J. Caswell at quarterback number 16, Ash Odom at running back number 24. The outside receivers, number 84, Chris Curtis, number 87, Memphis Blue, and number 83 at tight end, Michael Dags. First and 10 of the Aztec 46. Caswell will drop back the pass, and he completes that to Simpson over the middle. That's a pickup of eight yards. And the Mexico City Aztec defense is having a bit of a trouble uh, with the Queen City Corsair offense here on the first down. Let's meet the Mexico City Aztec defense. 
The Aztec defense in the backfield. Number 25, Devin Cabrera. Number 29, Pablo Zamora. The corners are number 24, King Wallace. And number 38, Fran, Fran Owaga. We'll get to the rest in a moment. Ash is going to pick up the first down. Back to the defense. Jack Brown at linebacker. Number 42 plays inside. Number 52, Landon Mack plays outside. And those are your stars on Mexico City defense. It's a first and 10 at the Aztec 35-yard line. Three receivers and two backs. They've been going to this split back formation a lot here on this opening drive. Hand off to Ash Odom, and Odom picks up four. Odom doing a nice job getting through and picking up something where there wasn't much there. Couple of very talented running backs on the field tonight. Both had 2,000 yards rushing last season. Odom with 2,015, Bentley with 2,043, but Odom had 22 touchdowns compared to Bentley's 15. That pass caught in the middle by Michael Daggs. The 17-yard line, and Queen City is in the red zone. The Corsairs have been driving the entire uh, first drive here over the last three minutes with relative ease here as Daggs is left wide open. And Queen City is trying to make a statement here just after the Mexico City Aztecs raised their banner here at Estadio Azteca. 750 viewers right now. Thanks so much to everybody in the chat. We'll be doing some shout outs here a little bit later in the show. SimulationFL.net is the website. 7.53 to go in the first. Queen City is keeping Mexico City's offense off the field. Caswell under center back to pass. Caswell is going to be sacked. Alan Romero gets around the corner and gets the first sack of the season. And that is going to put the Queen City Corsairs in a second and long situation. Really the first time Queen City's faced any adversity on this opening drive. Three receivers all to the top of the screen. Still four down linemen for Mexico City. Back to pass, Caswell fires outside. Caught by Memphis Blue. Picks up 10 yards to set up a third down and six for the Corsairs. Queen City leads the league all time and wins with 57. They also have four championships in four appearances. Mexico City needs just one win to tie Oklahoma City for second all time in wins. These most certainly are two of the most storied SFL franchises and most successful in league history. A, a clash of the Titans, their first ever meeting. Third down and six, Queen City. Caswell back to pass all day. Pump fake, there's nobody. They rush three, so he checks it down to Odom and he dropped the ball. Ash Odom, the former running back of the Alaska Storm, drops the ball, I guess the nerves, getting to Queen City towards the end of the drive. A horrific play there by Ash Odom and it's gonna bring on the field goal kicker, Ricky Matthews, to try to get the Queen City Corsairs on the board for the first time tonight. That is rough for Ash Odom here in the spotlight. This is a 29-yard field goal for Matthews. And from the right hash, the left-footed kicker boots it through. 6.58 to go in the first. It's 3-0 Queen City. Another look at the kick. Simulation Football League's 10th anniversary season. You can see the uh, icon there in the top right corner of the screen. We are so blessed and appreciative for everyone that's come on board throughout the process as uh, we are very excited to bring our product to the masses of eSports as Queen City kicks it away. That's Matthews returning the kick from the nine yard line, Mexico City's Dijon Swan. And Swan past the 35, past the 40, and Swan had one man to beat and he couldn't do it. Gets it all the way out to the 43 to give Matt Wilson Great starting field position, and here's another look at the replay from Swan. Dijon Swan, the slot receiver last year, doing good things here for the Aztecs. And that's really going to help Ray Bentley and company get going. That Queen City drive was four minutes off the clock. The Mexico City's defense gets the stand. First and 10, 6.52 to go in the first quarter. 
Three receivers hand off Ray Bentley. Bentley pushes through for a pickup of four. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the storied career of Matt Wilson. 16,057 yards, 128 touchdowns. Wilson is fifth all time in passing yards in SFL history. Second and six at the 47 yard line for Wilson and company, just won his first championship last year. Three receivers, handoff goes to Bentley again on the trap and Bentley is cut down by Avery King. Starting offense for Mexico City, the stars on the field. Matt Wilson is the quarterback, number 12. Running back, number 27, Ray Bentley. The receivers are number 19, K.L. Barrett. Number 86, Richard Montague. And number 13, Dijon Swan. It's third down and five. And the handoff goes to Bentley again. Ray Bentley's got the first down. 5.48 to go in the first quarter, and Ray Bentley keeps the Aztecs moving. And now Queen City is going to challenge. The Americans are challenging the spot of the ball. Let's see what we get out of this. It looked to me like Ray Bentley crossed the line. Man, just ripped off Avery King. That was Alex Cross and Denzel Woods Jr. that ended up coming to make the tackle. But that ball is right on the line. It's really tough to say. And get the call from the officials. After a review, the call on the field is overturned. The Americans will not be charged with a timeout. Fourth down. Wow. I did not see enough evidence to overturn that call. Refs dirt, definitely not homers tonight. And on fourth and inches, it looks like the Aztec offense is going to stay out on the field. It's opening night. What the heck? You're in your own stadium on the Corsair 47-yard line in Mexico City. May try to hard count. We'll see what they do here. Three receivers and Bentley in the backfield. Matt Wilson is not thrown. They're going to run it. Ray Bentley, first down. Why not when you got the beast? Aztec offense remains on the field, and a gutsy call very early in this game gives the Aztecs a first down. The Queen City star defense, the safeties, number 46, Phoenix Blue. Number 27, Joshua Corbett. Number 21, Stenzo Woods Jr. The linebackers, number 44, Avery King. Number 54, Alex Cross. We'll finish it off in a minute. Ray Bentley takes the handoff, picks up five. Back to the stars on the field. The defensive line at defensive tackle, number 75, Koa Kaleo. And defensive end is number 54, Ellis Harlow. Right. That's your Queen City star defense. Fifty to go in the first quarter, 3-0 Queen City, but now Mexico City's on the move with all Ray Bentley here in prime time. He picks up just one. That tackle made by Avery King. Third down and four coming up for, Queen, uh, for Mexico City as Avery King and Alex Cross have been very active on this opening drive. That is the sixth straight run for Mexico City. They have still not passed, of course, in the preseason or I'm sorry, in the championship game, Mexico City only passed 13 times. Wilson got a pass here on third and four. The pass is incomplete. A bit of a wobbler intended for a Montague, and it will bring up fourth and four, and I don't think we're going to see Mexico City go for it again here on the opening drive, especially at fourth down and four. A bit of a wobbler from Matt Wilson on his first pass of the season. So for those that watched preseason action, I think you're seeing a lot better football on the field now that the custom playbooks and the custom strategies are in from our coaches. If you're wondering what you're watching right now, this is the Simulation Football League. The teams are owned, coached, and played by SFL members. 12 stars on a team with a salary cap. As this punt's going to bounce inside the 10 and will bounce into the end zone. Teams submit game plans attempting to win each week. All games are streamed and archived in high definition with commentary. A blend of competitive esports and casual gaming is what you're watching. So 4.08 to go in the first quarter. If you're just joining us, Queen City worked the field with ease, got a field goal. 
After Ash Odom dropped an easy check down, Mexico City went for it on fourth down, got it, but the drive stalled out. Queen City second possession, start for the handoff to Ash Odom, and Odom will pick up seven yards. Now, a quick message from the SFL. Want to do what I do? Contact me in the DM on Discord to find out how you can get involved with streaming live games, calling games, or breaking them down on the air with our broadcast team. Or help make our production even better by joining our new live stats team, helping our broadcasters shine brighter. We are hashtag loading legends in the SFL. Second down and three, the handoff goes to Odom, and Odom's got a first down and more as he thumps defenders, averaging 5.4 yards a carry here in this first quarter. 325 remaining in it. SFL Fan Night is on Twitch TV Sunday, and the fans voted for the Tallahassee Pride and the Carolina Skyhawks, the rivalry, the 10th meeting of the two teams. That's Sunday night right here on Twitch TV as Ash Odom lost two yards. Good tackle in the backfield there by Jack Brown. Jack Brown, the outside linebacker, Landon Mack, the inside linebacker. A little graphic error there, but they call him the Jack and Mack attack. And they're certainly a couple of the best linebackers in the league, or at least the best tandem in the league. Second and 12, 2.42 to go. I am Cameron Irvine. You're watching the Simulation Football League on Twitch, the 10th anniversary season opener as Caswell's pass is caught. What a laser to Memphis Blue, who's got three catches here in the opening quarter. And actually, no, check that. That was Michael Daggs. This is an absolute bullet from A.J. Caswell. He laid that out perfectly. And for Mike Daggs, that's his second catch. Memphis Blue has two as well. And off to Oda. A.J. Caswell, six of seven. The only pass he's missed was that that drop by Odom. Odom now up to seven carries for 28 yards. Ray Bentley, in case you're wondering, at six carries, 18 yards. Shout out to Andy Hamilton, who's uh, in charge of stats behind the scenes tonight. Second down and six, 145 to go in the first. Three nothing Queen City, handoff to Ash Odom again. Picks up two. And both these teams are just testing the trenches here as the Jack and Mack attack combined for a double tackle. Here in Mexico City, the weather report tonight, 66 degrees and partly cloudy. Winds 10 miles out of the east. Three receivers crowd on their feet, chanting defense, third down and four. Odom's gonna get a carry on a stretch play. Get away from one, won't get away from the second. Devin Cabrera makes the, check that, Pablo Zamora makes the stop to bring up fourth down and two at the Aztec 41. And I would not be surprised if Queen City maybe tries to go for one here. And it does look like the Corsair offense is out on the field. How about this, both teams Testing the waters here early. There's 14 on the play clock. Will they snap it? Will they hard count? Down to 10. Caswell trying to get the Aztecs to jump. They're not doing it. They are really not doing it. They are not falling for it. And Queen City has to burn a timeout. Queen City did not want to go for that, especially up 3-0. Did not see much of an advantage there. Hey, while well, we got a break in the action. Follow the SFL on Twitter at SimulationFL on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube and Twitch channels. You're already here, right? Might as well stay tuned. Get league updates on your phone while browsing the internet and make sure you never miss a live broadcast. Thank you for supporting the SFL. Fourth down and two, Queen City's up three nothing on the Mexico City Aztecs in a defensive first quarter. This punt inside the 10, and that can't be down either, boy. You can definitely tell out of some of these players there's a lot of nerves out there. We've seen some fumbled balls, attempts at glory gone awry. And Mexico City starts with it first and 10 at the 20. 
28 seconds to go in the first quarter. I'm Cameron Irvine. Lead play-by-play -play commentator for the SFL. And back to pass is Matt Wilson going long, and it's incomplete into double coverage. Looking for Swan down the field. Corbett and company there to make the stop. Second down and 10 at the 20. Oh. And 10. Aztecs won the championship right here on the front page of Twitch, October 25th. Beat down Chicago pretty bad, honestly, as they pulled away in the fourth quarter without a kickoff return by A.J. Barnes. Chicago would have been dead to rights in that game. Second and 10, Bentley made a man fly. If you thought that was possible, that was Alex Cross that flew off your screen. A pickup of three yards, and both running backs are chipping away at these defenses. Third and seven, both teams trying to assert their dominance here in the first quarter. And that appears to be the final play of the first quarter. Season 10 is underway, and Queen City's up 3-0. If you like what you hear, make sure to give APM Music a shout at esports at apmmusic.com so they can hook you up with awesome music like they hooked us up. As Matt Wilson drops back to pass, fires it out short of the first down, and Montague did not really look like he wanted to get to the sticks. Mexico City's offense will have to punt, so both defenses playing tight here. Not allowing any big plays. Really nice coverage earlier in the drive by Queen City. Doubling up Swan down the field on a corner out. What's our numbers looking like out there, chat? Shout out to everybody in the chat here tonight. Vita uh, VTAC, Alex Baum, 45, Curtis, True Shot, Collar 1, Jordan, the Kitty, Cloud Fuel, True Shot, Collar. Well, I already said him. What am I doing? Crazy H2000, WAFL, JLY, 757 Hooper, Gooner Bear 94, Vancouver Legion, and all sorts of people. That's a new record for us. That's a new record for us. Come on in. Come on in. Ash Odom, nine carries, 32 yards in that first quarter. Queen City gets the ball. Their third possession now. It's 3-0 for the four-time champs. Trying to spoil the party here in Mexico as Ash Odom gets a carry and gets a solid eight yards. He really found a seam. I believe Pablo Zamora got the last tackle, and it brings up a second down and two. Nine fifty-five to go in the second quarter. Three nothing Queen City. Still looking for our first touchdown of the new season. Oh, going to get another carry. This time he's not going anywhere. That tackle made by Daniel Garcia at outside linebacker. Third down and three. Well, we're just getting started here. Week one rolls on Sunday on YouTube. Four games at three, two at five. We're back here on Twitch. Sunday at seven and Monday at seven. Make sure you don't miss all of the SFL action here on opening week as Caswell is hit as he threw and nearly threw an interception. That pass knocked away. Pressure supplied by Dorian Lopez at defensive tackle, and both defenses are playing stout football. Look at Chris Curtis on the sideline. He does not have a catch. And so far... Matt Wilson is one of three for four yards in this first half. That is stunning. That punt nearly blocked from the 13-yard line. Swan on the return. He's not going anywhere. Well, the SFL staff sure does a lot to make these games possible. Andrew Rostelli, the director of player personnel, is going to be your point of contact if you are a new member of the SFL tonight by joining our Discord channel. Jermaine Smith, the master hexer, out there making things happen and making our games look beautiful. Andy Hamilton's on the back end handling stats. We've got a fully fledged broadcast team, moderators, everybody doing a great job tonight behind the scenes. First and 10 for the 14, Wilson going long and the pass is caught by K.L. Barrett. 
a zipping spiral down the field for 20 yards. And finally, the Mexico City passing attack gets moving. This was a perfect spiral. Tight coverage, but Barrett just too talented. Denzel Woods Jr. on the tackle. And the Aztecs have the ball at the 34-yard line. Three nothing. Jonair corners out there. Very right CP Undy or C Pundy. A 40 to go in the first half. Wilson to throw. Wilson outside. Did Montague drag the feet? Yes, he did. Picks up four. Second and six. See Ryan Moody's YouTube channel down there. 14,000 subscribers and counting. Make sure you check out his channel. Follow him on Twitter at Shutdown Safety. As he will remind you every video. It's impressive how that guy says the same thing perfectly every time he gets on the air. 8.28 to go in the second. Second down and six. Queen City's up three. Mexico City on the move. Wilson moves around in the pocket. Really nice job shuffling the feet. It's only a two-yard gain. Could have been worse. Montagu with the catch. Third down, four. Boy, this first half is evaporating. Don't forget we have a special announcement coming up at the half. Won't want to miss that. We are planning a party. It would be the hint I would give out for that. Third down and four, hand off to Bentley, and Bentley is stopped short. That tackle by Avery King. Bentley averaging only three yards a carry. Eight attempts, 23 yards, just under three. And it's fourth down and one, and I don't think the Aztecs are going to go for this again. They're going to have to punt it away. And they're really bottling up Ray Bentley here tonight as best they can. Ash Odom, 11 carries, 40 yards. And your leader receiving is Mike Daggs with 31 yards on two receptions. This is Simpson on the return of the 19-yard line. There's not a lot of room for him to operate. The Simulation Football League is presented by APM Music and is the official theme music provider of the SFL. Listen to their Champions Will Rise soundtrack at apmmusic.com today and search through thousands of tracks to boost the quality of your stream just like us. First down of the 22, Odom takes the handoff, picks up eight. Music, production music library and custom music house. So Ash Odom hasn't done anything flashy here tonight, but 12 carries, 48 yards, a four-yard per carry average. Odom has been the better running backs of the two. Again, Odom and Bentley both had 2,000-yard seasons last year, which was unprecedented in the SFL. And Odom takes another handoff and will not pick up the first. Again, that well, actually, that's Mauricio Zita, who had a monstrous championship game. The virus stops Odom from moving the sticks. Well, we're patiently awaiting our first big play of the night. SFL known for wild and wacky plays, and these two teams, boy, it's a chess match out there tonight. The four-time champ, Queen City Corsairs, and the defending champion, Aztecs. Toss play now to Odom. He got the first down, shrugged off a defender, and then the tackle is made by Fran Agawa and Alan Romero. At corner and defensive end, respectively. Odom talking some trash there. 6.05 to go in the first half. Fast moving and largely uneventful half on the scoreboard. Three receivers, two packs. Hand off to Odom again. And Odom trucking ahead for five yards. Nothing flashy about it. Ash Odom making things happen. Again, a look at the running back matchup tonight. Last season, both running backs were outstanding. Ash Odom was the bell cow in Alaska, let go, and then Odom signed as a, a free agent in Queen City. The Corsairs have had back-to-back 2,000-yard -back rushers no longer with the team. Second and five at the 43-yard line for Queen City. And the handoff to Odom again. Odom is getting worked. And Jack Brown puts a hammer on him, third and four at the 44-yard line.
Brown making plays out there. That is the 16th carry for Ash Odom in the game. That's nuts. Three receivers, Caswell to the throw, and Caswell is sacked for the second time tonight. That's Dorian Lopez in the backfield, and it's fourth down. And the Aztec defense does it again. Man, both defenses standing strong here. And Queen City will have to punt it away. Matthews also serves as the punter of this squad. Can't miss him with that bright green kicking shoe. Three nothing. From the 20 yard line, Dijon Swan up to the 22. 4.20 to go in the first half. And this has been a defensive slugfest. There's no doubt about that. Join the world's fastest growing sim football community by jumping onto our Discord server. Use the Discord command in chat to keep up with schedules, news, notes, announcements, and polls. Matt Wilson back to pass to Montague with the four. Lines in into the action here where we're loading legends at the SFL. Had the one big play here, the long pass from Matt Wilson to K.L. Barrett. These two teams last year, some of the uh, highest scoring offenses in the league, I believe both averaged over 30 points a game. Season nine stats, a little, a little uh, lost in the membrane. Is, uh, Ray Bentley gets the carry. Ray Bentley, there he goes! A diving player and one that stayed on the ground for a few seconds too long. Ray Bentley with his best run of the night. That's a grown-ass man, as DeMond Simeon would have said on the championship call. And he sent people flying. What a run from Bentley. Up to 38 yards now on nine carries. That was easily his best. Now Wilson five of seven for 37 or for 34 yards. Caswell six of eight for 66. Not much from either team. Passing game first and ten for the 40. Wilson gonna take off and run, and Matt Wilson picks up eight yards. What a beautiful quarterback draw from Matt Wilson, and that'll help Mexico City stay ahead of the chains. Well, if you're watching tonight and you're wondering what the heck this is, this is what you're watching. The SFL teams are owned. Uh, coached and played for by SFL members. 12 stars to a team with a salary cap. Teams submit game plans attempting to win each week. All games are streamed and archived in HD with commentary. It's the most fun you'll have watching a video game ever. 3.02 to go in the first half. It's third down and two. Not a lot of offense, though. That's been the one thing we haven't had tonight. No gain on that last play after Wilson's eight-yard scramble. Three wide receivers for Wilson. Another critical third down and short here as the Aztecs are still trying to get that goose egg off the board. That pass is incomplete, but I believe there was interference on Joshua Cor uh, Corbett, the strong safety. Let's get the call. He definitely was bumped off his route, and that's exactly what they're going to get the Corsairs for. That's going to move the ball to the Queen City 46, a spot foul, and a first down. And a really good look at the video board out there. <laughs> 2K messing with us. 2.42 to go in the first half. I cannot believe it is 3-0. I expect this to be an explosive second half. These two teams really feeling each other out. Dust fan Twitch, appreciate the compliment. Three receivers hand off to Ray Bentley. And Bentley picks up three before he's chopped down. That was Ellis Harlow, first time we've mentioned his name. Big number 94. I think we may have had him at 54 on the starting line of graphic. Our apologies there. 220 to go in the second quarter. Mexico City taking a lot of time off this clock. 
Hand off Bentley again, and Bentley's got nothing. Avery King and Alex Cross, a couple of linebackers that want to show up. Jack Brown and Landon Mack tonight. No gain, third down and six. That's the two-minute warning here on the SFL on Twitch, presented by APA Music. This is Eric Barkley, owner of the four-time SFL champion, Queen City Corsairs. And you're watching the SFL, sponsored by APM, on Twitch TV. Well, opening night has been a defensive slugfest, but we're only nearly one half in the books. Plenty to come. Matt Wilson's pass is caught by Swan running a tight slant. Right up the middle, first down to the 29-yard line. And Dijon Swan wants everybody to know about it. Matt Wilson threading the needle again here. And King Wall, or check that, uh, Morris Gibson was all out of position for Queen City. Just completely missed Dijon Swan. That's his first catch tonight for nine yards. And now all four stars for Mexico City have a catch. 135 to go in the first half. The Aztecs are in scoring position for the first time tonight. Hand off to Bentley. Bentley makes a spin. Bentley, 20. Down to the 19. Picks up nine and a half. And Bentley's over 50 yards. Both these teams are residing in the Eastern Conference this year. The Eastern Conference had four teams make the playoffs from last season's format, including the Tallahassee Pride to play Sunday night here on Twitch. And the Atlanta Swarm. Second and inches, hand off Bentley. First down and more to the 15, under a minute to go. I tell you what, Queen City's defense getting tired. Mexico City has been on the field forever. Wilson back to pass. Wilson over to Bentley. And Bentley, oh, he dropped it right into the hands of the defender. 40, 50, running the other way is Morris Gibson. Bentley trying to catch him. And Gibson's got a touchdown. Touchdown, Queen City on a pick six, gift wrapped by Ray Bentley, right into the hands of Morris Gibson. Can you believe it? The first touchdown of the season goes to the defense. A stunning play with a non-contract corner. Who says non-contract players can't ball? And the Corsairs on the road on opening night have a 9-0 lead. Man, Ray Bentley, I tell you, he was so frightened to take a shot, which is very unusual for Ray. He was looking at that defender all the way. Queen City's extra point is good, and with 37 seconds... To go in the first half, the Corsairs have a 10-0 lead, and I told you, I told you, the insanity was coming. It always seems to find at SFL broadcasts. That was wild. A pick six for Queen City is the first touchdown of season 10. So Mexico, what a deflator. As from the 10-yard line, Swan returns up to the 26, 27, officially. Mexico City had to have been on the field for at least five minutes of game time. It felt like about 12 minutes in actual time. They get all the way down the field. They're in scoring position. It's third down, trying to keep the drive alive. And Ray Bentley, of all people, the MVP of the championship game, the man that ran over everybody for over 250 yards in the championship game, Gave that one away. And now Mexico City has 33 seconds to go before the half. Wilson got to get rid of it. Fires it complete to Misa Hiroshi, the tight end. 22 seconds to go. Second and six. Wilson now seven of nine passing in the first half. And they'll just hand it off to, that's not even Ray Bentley out there on the field. I think Mexico City may be conceding. That was the backup, Frank Sanchez, and he'll take another hand off. And that will be the end of the first half. After first half stats and analysis, we'll have our special announcement coming up.
on the SFL Network presented by APM Music. Mexico City in a moment. Stay tuned for a special league announcement, and then we'll get you back out for the second half of opening night of season 10. The Simulation Football League has a special announcement tonight, and we are very excited to let all of you know that the SFL has entered a partnership with Show Business Inc., and I'm proud to announce tonight the first SFL convention from July 13th through the 15th of 2018. The film, uh, Simulation Football League is proud to announce its partnership with Show Business Inc., a film and live event production company in Dallas. The company has entered clients, uh, entertained rather, clients that include President George Bush, Merv uh, Griffin, Mary Kay, Dallas Stars, Reebok, Lexus GQ Magazine, uh, Fermental Media, NBC, and many others. We're so thrilled to have Show Business Inc. on board for season 10 and for the future of the SFL. We've been working with Show Business Inc. for quite some time now to create some amazing things. We are an entertainment product, and they are, in, are an entertainment company. Along with APM Music, we are building a first-class entertainment experience. Coupled with the announcement, the league is happy to announce the confirmation of the first SFL presented by APM Music Convention, which will be held at Show Business Studios in Irving from July 13 through the 15. That will include the league's celebration of the inaugural Hall of Fame class, opening night of Season 11, and action from every team in the league on opening weekend. We immediately recognize the impact the SFL has on the revolutionary growth of the esports industry, said Lynn Reynolds, who's watching tonight. Hi, Lynn, president of Show Business Inc. We are ecstatic to join Commissioner Cameron Irvine in this endeavor. Show Business Inc. becomes the third sponsor of the SFL in less than a month. The league saw an increase of YouTube subscribers in Q4 of 264% and saw a 44.7 increase in website traffic during the same period. From season eight to nine, watch time of the league generated con uh, content rose to 51%, total views up 57, likes up 49, and shares grew 48. Show Business Inc. 
is a self-sustained and diverse company with over 100 years of collective experience in live event production. Film, television production, prop and set design, construction, rental, with four distinct venues in the DFW Metroplex. By forming strategic partnerships within complementary industries, Show Business Inc. has an unparalleled range of developments on the local, national, and international level. Each venue offers a, divi a diversity of entertainment capabilities from, from a 15,000 square feet soundstage to a variety of event spaces for live theme shows, corporate events, private parties, and film production space with the ability to accommodate from one to over 1,000 attendees. Located centrally in Irving, Texas, Show Business Inc. is proximal to both airports and positioned to acquire other venues, businesses, and intellectual property to develop future entertainment opportunities. For additional information, go to showbusinessstudios.com or call 214 448 Seven three seven three. Folks, the second half will get underway in just a moment. You're watching Season 10 opening night right here on the front page of Twitch. The SFL presented by APM Music. Queen City 10, Mexico City nothing. We'll be back in just a moment. Part of the second half. Mexico City's got to get moving. Queen City, kick it. John Swan, the 33 yard line, returns it up, or returns it to the 33 yard line, I should say. Aztecs down 10 0 here. Going to need to get something going here in the second half. If you're joining us for the first time, this is how the SFL works. Teams are owned, coached, and played for by SFL members. 12 stars to a team of the salary cap. Teams submit game plans attempting to win each week. All games are streamed and archived in HD with commentary. There are links to join our Discord channel as Ray Bentley makes a move. And Ray Bentley's got a first down to the 45-yard line. Second best run of the night for Ray Bentley as he broke off a of beauty earlier. He now is up to 71 yards on 15 carries. That bests Ash Odom's 61 yards on 16 carries. And Bentley starting to get uh, starting to heat up is not good for Queen City's defense. Maurice Johnson, the non-contract corner, made that last tackle. First half stats, Matt Wilson. 7 of 9, 53 yards and a pick that was not his fault. Caswell, 6 of 8, 71 yards. Odom had 61 yards on the ground. Bentley, 71. The leading receiver is 31 yards still for Mike Gags. That pass is caught. What diving attempt made by Dijon Swan for the first down to the 43-yard line. Back-to-back -back first down plays for the Aztecs. Again, not the prettiest ball by Matt Wilson. Swan adjusts and makes the play. First down to the 43. Mexico City trying to storm back. They're zero on the board tonight is one of the more shocking things I've seen in a long time. Hand off Bentley. Bentley cuts it back inside and Woods says that was a mistake. Pickup of just three. Both Bentley and Odom, the bell cows tonight for their respective teams. Second and seven on the opening drive of the second half. Here on Twitch's front page. Shout out to Cloud Fuel. Making things happen. Believing in the SFL product. We appreciate you forever and always. Second down for Mexico City with a four down front. Nickel set for the Corsairs. Three receivers. Wilson to throw. Wilson with a man at his feet. Gets away and throws that one out of bounds. Wilson's eternal clock was ticking. It'll bring up third down and seven. Queen City eventually got the pressure. They have not sacked Matt Wilson tonight. Wilson's third incompletion of the evening. 9.16 to go in the third. I'm Cameron Irvine, your play-by-play -play commentator here tonight. Damon Simeon was to join me as an analyst, but he was 
suffering from a cold or a flu or something. So get better, Damon. He's a staple on this network with me as well. As Wilson drops back to pass, makes the catch. Is Richard Montague, but again, shy of the first down sticks. And that's a couple of times now that we've seen Mexico City play too conservatively on uh, third down. And this would be a 53-yard field goal. Mexico City's not going to try it. The Aztecs do have a star kicker, Cole Varner. But they're not going to try him to get points on the board. Instead, they're going to try to pin Queen City deep. The Aztecs, the defending champions, will not be able to down it before the end zone. And nobody's having good luck inside the five-yard line on special teams. Eight thirty-eight to go in the third quarter. We're back on Twitch.tv Sunday night for SFL Fan Night. Voted in the prime time. The Carolina Skyhawks host the Tallahassee Pride Sunday at seven Central, eight Eastern. As Ash Odom gets the carry for three yards. It'll be the tenth meeting all time between Carolina and Tallahassee, and those two teams doesn't matter who's on them. Just don't ever seem to really like each other. We'll see them. Hash out that anxiety on Sunday night after a full slate of games Sunday afternoon on YouTube. Second and seven, eight, 12 to go in the third quarter. Back to pass, Caswell with pressure on his left. Caswell fires to the sideline, and that pass is incomplete. Tenant for Chris Curtis. Curtis does not have a catch tonight. The top target of A.J. Caswell last year Caswell is no slouch. Just crossed over the 600 completion mark at the end of last season. He'll get to 878, or he'll get to 1,000 attempts, rather, in a couple of weeks. So congrats to Caswell on his numbers over his career. Third down and seven. Caswell going long. Caswell's pass is caught at the 41-yard line. One-on-one -on -one coverage and a double team coming in. Pablo Zamora makes the tackle on Memphis Blue. But Blue picks that one up from the 19-yard line over to the 41. That's a pickup of 22 yards. Let's go. Caswell up to 93 yards passing. And Memphis Blue now is your receiving leader tonight with 44 yards on three catches. First and 10 at the 41 for Queen City. Three receivers, two off the left, back to pass. Caswell fires outside. Curtis got it. Pick up a four. That's his first catch of the night. And now all of, well, Ash Odom still does not have a catch. Of course, he dropped the third down play. Neither running back has really done a lot in the passing game, although it's not really uh, either of these teams' M.O. Bentley with just one catch for four yards, and Odom not a catch tonight. Bentley's got 74 yards rushing, Odom 64. Caswell 97 passing yards, Wilson 67. Second and six, 7.18 to go in the third. Stretch play over to Odom. Ash Odom had one man to beat and couldn't beat him. Really nice open field tackle on Odom, third down and four. And that was Joey Gonzalez making the play, the non-contract corner. Welcome to the Simulation Football League. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Cameron Irvine. This is opening night of our 10th anniversary season. Loving every minute. Happy to have all of you along for the ride. Third down and four, Caswell to the gun. He's going to take off and run, and Caswell gets buried at the 49-yard line. What a heads-up play by Landon Mack, who saved what would have been a pretty substantial gain for Queen City as Caswell, out of the shotgun, just took off and run. And I'm not sure he's going to want to do that again after Landon Mack put him down. Another punt here. This is a defensive struggle. If you like defensive struggles, you're loving opening night. On the 14-yard line, Swan up to the 17. And Mexico City's got to get something going here. These two defenses have been absolutely relentless. Ten nothing. If you're just joining us, Queen City got a pick six out of Morris Gibson. That is the only touchdown of the night. 6:15 to go in the third. 
Three receivers, two off the left side for Wilson. Wilson gonna hand it off to Bentley, and Bentley picks up just one. Mexico City's gotta mix it up. Avery King all over him on that tackle. King, the former Skyhawk, on the play. Played last season in Queen City. Corsair's a playoff team almost every season. These two defenses right now canceling each other out. Showing a blitz up the middle. They bring it. Bentley running right into it. Bentley gets away from it. Bentley's got a first down. Breaks a tackle. Ray Bentley. He's gone. And the Aztecs are going to score and get on the board. Welcome to the game, Ray Bentley. And the Aztecs are right back in it just like that. Man, that wasn't that wasn't even an easy run. Bentley had to squeeze through, then made Woods Jr. miss, then made Mick Weimer miss. And that was it. Bentley with the touchdown. Now has 157 yards on 18 carries. The beast is back and that has a Stadio Azteca fired up extra point is good 537 to go in the third Queen City 10 Mexico City 7 mighty give us the podcast deets podcast every Saturday night at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern on Twitch before the league's weekend slate get kicked off. Join me, Mighty RX, defending champion team owner Ramos Lynn and our host, Jack Brown, to break down all the headlines in the SFL. Jack, yeah, I know we got to move on. Calm down. See you there, everybody. two-yard touchdown run for Ray Bentley gets Mexico City back in business their offense was struggling all night they needed that 533 to go in the third Queen City's up 10-7 we got a ball game now on the front page of Twitch Caswell's pass caught first down to the 32 catch made by Jones Branch his first of the night. Caswell dialing it up. Three-step drop. Backs out into the flats. And a nice easy slant. And completion for a first down. 5.15 to go in the third. 10-7 Queen City, the start of season 10. SimulationFL.net is the website. Both quarterbacks are now 9 of 12 tonight. Three receivers, that's Dax, right off the line there on the left. Odom takes the handoff, and Dorian Lopez missed badly. Odom almost back up to four yards of carry, picks up six on that run to the 37-yard line, and Queen City is now finding a lot of movement offensively. Odom, 19 carries, 70 yards. Look at Devin Cabrera. Cabrera. Been with this franchise now for a handful of years. Back to pass, Caswell, and Caswell right past the sticks. Chris Curtis getting the toes in for the first down of the 42-yard line. Well, we're here in Estadio Azteca, 66 degrees. The weather tonight, we use real-time weather on all of our SFL games. Shoutouts in the chat, Dags83, AJ Pick6, Kenny G, Alex Bond, the losing one, through shot collar, and more. Castle pass is caught. Nice throw. Joe Simpson, first down again to the 47-yard line. Caswell working the ball down the field. That was right on the money. Caswell now 11 of 14, and he hasn't missed a pass on this drive. Odom, nowhere to go. Somehow, Ash Odom 
Got two yards out of that. Landon Mack on the tackle. Queen City's generic receivers, non-contract receivers tonight. Four catches for 39 yards. That's pretty high, especially considering Caswell has only completed 11 passes. On the flip side, the non-contract receivers for Mexico City, just one catch for four yards. 3.20 to go in the third, second down and eight. Four down front, back to pass Caswell. Caswell going corner, caught, first down, turn in the corner to the 30-yard line. Caswell now 12 of 15. He's 4 of 4 on the drive. And Queen City's back in a scoring position trying to answer the Mexico City touchdown from Ray Bentley. That's Curtis again. Able to keep the feet in and churn up field and another tackle by the star linebacker Landon Mack. Mack outperforming Brown. And Alex Cross tonight, Avery King and Landon Mack definitely have been the top two linebackers this evening. Three minutes to go in the third. First and 10 for the 30. Caswell now out of the shotgun. He's going to take off and run. A.J. Caswell picks up just two. And another bring down by Landon Mack. Mack stuff in the middle on Caswell, not, let, uh, not, not letting him get away. Fourth sentence of the night right there. Somebody's going to make that a gift. Second and eight from the 29. 2.35 to go in the third. Split backs. Caswell to throw. Caswell near side. And that pass is dropped and nearly intercepted. Boy, King Wallace was coming. Joe Simpson couldn't hang on, took his eyes off the ball. And it brings up third down and eight. Boy, wouldn't that have been something if Karma would have came back around and Mexico City would have taken a pick six off a drop all the way. Third and eight. Unusual amount of drops here tonight. That's at least three. Third down for Queen City. Can't take a sack. Caswell's got a big pocket as they drop back eight. That passes off the head of the intended receiver. That was Joe Simpson, who was not looking for the football. And the pass is picked off by Ulysses Mora, the strong safety. Watch this play. Look at Simpson. He doesn't even know where the ball is. That dinged off the side of Simpson's helmet. That is unbelievable. First interception of the night for Queen City and Matt Wilson and the Aztecs take over. Wow. Three receivers for the Aztecs to start the drive. That is unbelievable. Right off the head. Ray Bentley picks up this two. Even King shuts it down. Here's the updated look at Bentley. And officially the run was 81 yards. Man, oh man. Second and eight, two minutes to go in the third. And off Bentley. Bentley looking for some room. Not much there. Queen City with Gibson on the tackle. Gibson having a great night. They do not want Ray Bentley to break free again. Without Bentley's run, Mexico City would probably be dead in the water right now. The Aztecs got a lot of momentum, or at least slowed Queen City's momentum off of that long 81-yard run from Bentley. Again, a nickel look for Queen City. The handoff goes to Ray, and on third down and seven, they uh, run Ray to the outside. Alex Cross makes the tackle again, and that is a puzzling play call by the Aztecs as Mexico City not really taking the lid off of Matt Wilson here. He's just 9 of 12 for 67 yards. He has a pick and no touchdowns. Wouldn't be surprised if... Eventually, Mexico City's going to have to let him lose. 45-yard line, decent return up to the, that's not a very generous spot. Looked like to the 48, maybe even to the 49 as Simpson fell forward. Well, if you're new to the SFL, what are we all about? The teams are owned, coached, and played by, uh, former, by uh, SFL members. 12 stars to a team with a salary cap, of course. Teams submit game plans attempting to win each week, and all games are streamed and arca uh, archived in HD with commentary. It's the Simulation Football League bringing your hopes and dreams to life on the gridiron. Hand off to Odom, and Odom, boy, he was really starting to pick up a head full of steam there. 
but ran into a blocker and kind of got slowed up. 80 yards for Odom, five-yard pickup on the last run of the Aztec 47-yard line as Queen City is trying to extend their very narrow 10-7 advantage. Shotgun, Caswell will throw, Caswell going deep, and he's got an open receiver caught at the 26-yard line. That's Chris Curtis, who's really started to heat up in the third quarter, and Queen City, just like that, is back into scoring position. Of course, had the interception in scoring position on the last drive, and they have worked it all the way back down there, thanks to ineptness from Mexico City's offense on third and long, Pablo Zamora, and... Fran Agawa combined for the tackle. That is the end of the third quarter of play. We're on the Twitch front page, and Queen City's got a three-point lead. This is the Simulation Football League, presented by APM Music. Four catches, 45 yards for Chris Curtis. Memphis Blue, three for 44 yards. Mike Daggs, two for 31. Start of the fourth, 10-7, Queen City. Out of the gun, Caswell takes off and runs again! Right into a wall, a loss of two. Alan Romero brings him down. Caswell has three carries now for two yards. Has not been effective in the run game. Mexico City's been ready for that. Three receivers, split backs in the backfield. Queen City up three. First game of the year for both teams. Caswell, seven-step drop, just gets it away. Has an open receiver caught by Simpson. Simpson making up for the off-the-helmet interception on the last drive. Gets Queen City into the red zone as Devin Cabrera brings him down. Mexico City would love to hold Queen City to a field goal here. Caswell now 14 of 18 for a buck 80. Three receivers again. Queen City's love this formation here to try to get this nickel set. Back to pass Caswell. Quick double to the outside by Simpson. Hits it five. Simpson extremely active tonight at the seven. Memphis Blue has been very quiet. In the second half, he was the main target in the first half. Chris Curtis has taken over those catches. And the generic receivers for Queen City, the non-contract receivers now, six catches for 58 yards. Three receivers, Dags off the right, hand off Odom, following blockers, but Odom can't get away. Mexico City simply won that at the line of scrimmage. Zeta with his second tackle. Third and seven after a loss of one on the play. Let's go. 9.20 to go in the fourth, 10-7. Boy, you can feel the tension in this stadium. Back to pass, Caswell over the middle. Pass is tipped up in the air. Oh, he caught him with one hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a play by Memphis Blue. That is the best catch I have ever seen in the SFL. That was unbelievable. Caswell's pass is deflected and then turning around is Memphis Blue with one hand for the score. Oh my goodness, Lord have mercy. Queen City's up nine on one of the most wacky plays you'll ever see. Memphis Blue with an improbable touchdown, and Queen City is back up by 10. Oh my goodness gracious, that was amazing. I didn't get a chance to see you tip the pass, I think it was Jack Brown. Wow. I'm, I'm grinning, I'm still stunned at the catch. Mexico City's just 
Got to throw their hands up with that one. Swan on the return up to the 28-yard line, and they got to get Matt Wilson going here. Passwell now 15 of 19, 198 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Ray Bentley's got a 157 yards rushing on 21 carries, but the bigger problem is Matt Wilson is just 9 of 12 throwing the ball for 67 yards. Blue now has four catches, 57 yards, and a touchdown. First and 10 of the 28. Back to pass, Wilson. Wilson going long. Wilson pass caught, wide open. KL Barrett at the 49-yard line. And Mexico City not done yet. There's an updated look at your quarterback numbers. Barrett gets pushed off, and that was really bad play by Weimer at the line of scrimmage. Press coverage and didn't even affect K.L. Barrett. Barrett has been very quiet tonight, just two catches now for 44 yards. First and 10 with 8.40 to go in the fourth. Three receivers hand off Bentley. Bentley shifty in the hole, and Avery King put a shoulder into it. That looked like it hurt. Second and seven, a pickup of just three, and right now Mexico City, you just feel like in the next three minutes they need to get a score of some, to, uh, of some kind because Queen City has made the two biggest plays all night. And that's the difference. This game has, been, has had three big plays in a chess match the rest of the way. Sometimes a few plays can decide a game as Avery King makes the tackle on Ray. That's no gain on Ray's 23rd carry, third and seven. Now under eight to go, and Matt Wilson's got to step up here. Third and seven. Wilson, 16,057 yards in his career, 128 touchdowns, has got to get moving. D-line shifts from right to left. And Wilson gonna hand it off to Bentley. It picks up one. I just, I don't understand it at all. That's, that is very, because that is not the Matt Wilson we know. And I'm not sure, maybe there's something going on with Matt Wilson here tonight. He's not feeling his best. Or Mexico City thinks Ray Bentley is their best shot to get in the end zone, which honestly, I don't blame him for thinking that. It's up to the Aztec defense, 7.06 to go. This punt is beautiful. Best punt of the night down to the two-yard line, and that is definitely going to help the Aztecs. Boy, and if I'm Queen City, I'm passing. Ash Odom, 22 carries, 75 yards tonight. Not a bad night, but you cannot give up a safety here on a bad run. A safety, or on a sack for that matter, makes it an eight-point game. That would make it a one-score game and give the Aztecs the ball right back. That would be disastrous. Queen City has to avoid the safety first and foremost here with 7.04 to go in the fourth. Hand off to Odom. Odom got in trouble there at the line of scrimmage, but found his way for a three-yard pickup to the five. And I would expect Queen City to be very conservative here on this offensive possession. If you want to see more SFL action, Tune in to SFL Fan Night Sunday night here on Twitch. Sunday at 7, 8 Eastern as Odom takes the handoff left. Odom, not much there. It'll be third down and five. The Tallahassee Pride and the Carolina Skyhawks here on SFL Fan Night Sunday night after a full slate of SFL games on YouTube in the afternoon. 6, 20 and counting. Third and five from the seven. Queen City avoided... A safety disaster, but they're trying to get a first down here against the 3-2 defense. Hand off Odom, he's not going to get anywhere. And Queen City probably wisely plays it conservative as Landon Mack makes another tackle. Odom is really starting to get bottled up now. 81 yards on 25 carries. That is uh, falling here in terms of averages now at about 3.4. The Aztecs going to get great field position here. From the back of his own end zone, Mexico City comes after it, can't get to it. This punt only to the 40. Swan's got room to return. The blocker disengaged. That could have been bigger out of Swan, but Mexico City has their best starting field position of the night, and they have to come away with at least a field goal here with 5.38 to go.
First down and 10, 538 to go in the fourth. At the 36 yard line, handoff goes to Bentley, left side, and Bentley only got two. Lulling Queen City asleep has not worked tonight. Tad Myers and Mick Weimer on the tackle. A.J. Caswell's passer rating is up to 100.89. Even though he didn't have a pass on the last possession, just wanted to update you on that. Second and eight from the 34. Wilson going to throw. Matt Wilson dumps it short. Bentley is going the wrong way. Picked up one with forward progress. Alex Cross on the tackle. This is critical. Now remember, Cole Varner is the star kicker for Mexico City. They can boot it from 50 yards away. If that is truly what Mexico City is going to try to aim for here, they have to be sure not to take a sack. Mexico City twice in the second half has run on third down and seven. I would be stunned if they do it again. 4.36 to go in the fourth. Wilson going to throw. Can't take a sack. Wilson going long. Wilson's pass knocked up in the air and nearly intercepted. Pass intended for K.L. Barrett. Stenzo Woods Jr. knocked that away. And a field goal is coming for Cole Varner. It'll be a monstrous kick as multiple Corsairs had their chance at that. Man, one, two, three, four different guys. The bouncing ball that Matt Wilson is lucky to see fall to the turf. Critical kick. This is why teams spend cap money on kickers. A 50-yard field goal for the right-footed kicker off the left hash to make it a one-score game and give the Aztecs a chance in the final four minutes. 50-yarder, low snap. The kick is almost blocked. It is up, and it is good. Plenty of leg as Cole Varner stays patient despite the bad snap. And he had a ton on that kick. That would have been good from 54. So the Aztecs go three and out after excellent field position, but at least Mexico City gets the field goal. And now going to go onside kick with 426 to go down a touchdown. Varner's actually going to do it. And the ball is, oh, it is caught by Queen City. Mexico City took a chance in the first quarter, going for it on fourth down, and that was a very good onside kick attempt from Varner. I thought there for a minute the Aztecs were going to recover, and now Mexico City going to put it on their defense to get another critical stop. Man, let's see if that pays off for the Aztecs. Hand off to Odom. Odom picks up five. Queen City does not have a star kicker side of the roster. The non-contract player is Ricky Matthews. So Queen City's ability to hit field goals from long distance is not where Mexico City is. But Queen City's non-contract players have been stepping up all night. Second and five from the 37. The clock is rolling at 3.53 to go, and the Aztecs May not have wanted uh, Queen City to eat away all four minutes of this game. It's the onside kick, hand off to Odom. Odom doesn't find much room. Another tackle by Landon Mack. I hope Mack took Ash Odom out to dinner first. He has had Odom's number, 27 carries, 92 yards for Ash Odom. Three twenty to go in the fourth. Queen City's up seven in a crazy game here on opening night. Mexico sh uh, City showing blitz. And Caswell going to hand it off to Odom. He got some blockers. He got another block. First down to the 28-yard line. Beautiful block downfield by Chris Curtis. Keeps the clock moving. And now Mexico City is in some trouble. Look at the blocks. Curtis down the field. Corey nails the guard. Gets his big body out there. Devin Cabrera and Jack Brown make the tackle. 
but that is going to burn a lot of time off the clock. Mexico City has three timeouts. Queen City has three timeouts. Let's see if Mexico City has a last gasp miracle in them. They're going to need a missed field goal and something special offensively. And off Odom. Ash Odom picks up seven. Odom over 100 yards on the night. And Queen City is wearing down the Aztecs in what has been a very hard-fought game here on the SFL Network on Twitch on opening night. That'll be the final play before the two-minute warning, and Mexico City's going to have to burn some timeouts coming up. This is the SFL presented by APM Music. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Hola, this is Ramos Lane, co-owner of the Mexico City Aztecs, and you're watching the SFL, sponsored by APM on Twitch. Second and three at the 20. Mexico City's got to get a stop. They have all three timeouts. Handoff goes to Ash Odom, and Ash Odom's got a first down, and the Aztecs are going to have to start burning timeouts now. Ash Odom has been awesome on this drive. 112 yards on a whopping 30 carries now for Odom. He is, I don't think he's had a, a run of over 10 yards. Yet he may end up, well, Memphis Blues... One-handed catch may give him player of the game, but Odom has been there all night long. Now Mexico City down to two timeouts. They cannot give up another first down. Handoff to Odom. Odom inside the 10, down to the six. And with one timeout left, I'd be telling my guys, if Odom gets past the four-yard line, let him in. Let him score. Ash Odom has taken over the game here in the fourth quarter as the defending champs, or the four-time champs, rather, try to hold on on the road. Mexico City's D-line getting worn down. Hand off Odom running backwards. Odom's not going to get there. Timeout Aztecs. And with this being the chip shot that it is, I almost wonder... I almost wonder if Mexico City should let him score on this play. Because unless you get a block or some kind of crazy play on special teams, it's going to be a two-score game. Well, I guess if it's going to be a two-score game anyway, as long as they don't get the first down, the field goal is not going to do you any more harm than a touchdown. Boy, Caswell going to hand it off. Odom's got a block, and Odom's got a touchdown. The drive of Ash Odom. His first game in a Queen City Corsair uniform. And again, Corey Nails getting outside. Pablo Zamora couldn't keep him out. And Queen City's up two scores. The Aztecs are out of timeouts. Mexico City's back is against the wall. But if you've never seen an SFL game before, don't go anywhere. The last two minutes get nuts. Ash Odom, 33 carries, 127 yards. Nothing beautiful about it. Rough and tough football. That's his first touchdown of the night. A.J. Caswell did not throw a pass on that drive. And the Aztec defense fails to get the stop they needed. Our next game on Twitch, Tallahassee and Carolina. Sunday, 7 Central, 8 Eastern. But we have games Sunday afternoon at 3 and 5. 6 of them, in fact, on our YouTube channel. We're back here on Twitch Sunday night. Fans voted it in. It's a very close vote. Actually, by one, beating out Vancouver and Alaska. The inaugural SFL fan night vote. Well, Mexico City's, they got, they need a miracle. And they've had miracles in this stadium. There's no doubt about that. The only successful Hail Mary in league history happened in this stadium. Wilson back to pass. Needs something quick. Gets it out to Bentley. Bentley's got to get out of bounds. Makes a man miss. Ray Bentley did get out of bounds and got the first down to the 38-yard line. Nice play by Ray. 
Not a bad start to the drive as Bentley makes a nice catch. One thirty-four left in the fourth. The defending champions likely going to go home disappointed tonight. It's going to be a long season. The champion's going to earn it like they always do here in the Simulation Football League, presented by APM Music. Back to pass. Wilson going long. Caught! 35, 30, 20, 15, 10. Giving chase. They won't get there. Richard Montague. Touchdown, Mexico City. Oh, man. Where was that all night? Richard Montague. Had four catches for just 15 yards before that one. Beats the star strong safety, Joshua Corbett down the field. And a successful onside kick could give the Aztecs another chance. Wow. Boy, did Mexico City need that. Even if they don't win this game, it'll give them some confidence heading into next week. Cole Barnes, extra point is good. 125 to go. Mexico City's got to get the onside kick, and the game is over. Cole Varner, the star kicker. One of the best kickers in the league. Was unsuccessful the first try, but it was close. Can Mexico City give us a photo finish? Onside kick is caught by Memphis Blue. Can you believe it? Memphis Blue, of course. He covers the onside kick. And Queen City is going to hold on to victory. Memphis Blue, Ash Odom, clutch tonight for the Corsairs. And a couple of big, big touchdowns for Mexico City did not offset the rough night that the offense had every other play. It was slow cooking. Wilson going to finish 13 to 17 for a buck 63. Stats will be up after this game at simulationfl.net. Look at Joe Simpson's number. He had a big night. For a non-contract receiver, five catches, 50 yards. It's pretty dang good. And the four-time champions prove why they are four-time champions. Thanks to everyone who's here tonight, whether you've known the SFL for years, months, days, or this was your first time. We hope you enjoyed yourself. We can't wait to see you on the field after week two when roster spots open up again. The players that have unfortunately gone inactive will be opportunities for you to get on the field and get in the spotlight just like all of these guys did. Memphis Blue, Ash Odom, they were outstanding tonight. They were definitely superstars. That is the final score. What a game. Queen City 24, Mexico City 17, the season 10 opener here on the Twitch front page. Final stats scroll across your screen. Landon Mack and Avery King finished with 11 solo tackles apiece. We'll be on the front page four more times this season. Our next broadcast, the Midseason Classic in week six. What a crazy game. 
off Joe Simpson's head for the interception. And look at maybe the greatest play in Lake history right here. Sunday night, 7 Central, 8 Eastern for the Tallahassee Pride of the Carolina Skyhawks for SFL Fan Night. You're listening to Champions Will Rise, the official soundtrack of the SFL. APM Music, Production Music Library, and Custom Music House for all your live streaming needs. For eSports licensing, email esports at apmmusic.com. Four games on YouTube Sunday at 3. Two games on YouTube Sunday at 5. A full slate of SML action as the greatest Sim League ever assembled returns to full force this weekend. The player of the game, Ash Odom, 33 carries, 126 yards, and a touchdown. of the Simulation Football League presented by APM Music. Thank you to all of our sponsors, all of our players, all of our coaches, all of our staff, all of our broadcast members, our mod team, our hexers, president, director, player personnel, all of our team owners who work tirelessly to give us a great product on and off the field. One more time and for the last time tonight, my name is Cameron Irvine. Commissioner League play-by-play man of the Simulation Football League. Queen City 24, Mexico City 17. We hope you had a lot of fun tonight. See you on the field. Good night.